Welcome to Brew and Review with Mike and Jake from Orange Cactus Coffee. Join them as they put coffees and brew methods to the test. Oh, yes. Thank you so much for listening. It is true. We are starting a new brew and review show separate from the Daily Ristretto, separate from the big podcast. This is just about brew and brew methods, coffees, all that. So when we put this out kind of uh, to a couple of you, sent our feelers out there, is this something that you're interested in? We received overwhelming feedback that yes, yes, it's something that you want. So we're going to go ahead and try and do as many of them as we can. But there's one thing you said had to stay, had to be there. And that is this. All right. Well, let's hear it. Re, re, review, coffee, review. 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 I'm telling you, that never gets old. It never gets old. I I think I could listen to it on repeat over and over and over again. We'll find a way to fit that in every episode that we do, a brew and review for your entertainment and Mikey's embarrassment. But for now, let's go ahead and jump right in to this, the very first brew and review. Hi, welcome to Tasting Coffee with Mike and Jake from Orange Cactus Coffee. You know, I got to thinking. Tasting coffee. It could taste. That- it could take us five minutes to come up with the right intro. So Mike and I are doing something a little different today. We want to taste some coffees, talk about how we brewed them, and this is the origin. This and is put number it, one. Put it a little separate. This is number one of this. Tasting coffee. What is this? Brewing and tasting. Brewing and tasting with the coffee bros. Nope. There's probably other coffee bros out there. How about? Yeah, they're from Holland. Brewing, roasting, and roasting, brewing, and tasting. How about just drinking coffee with Mike Kincaid? Hi. We brew it, we drink it, and we talk about it. What about coffee woke? Talking coffee. Talking coffee. Coffee coffee talks. Coffee talks. Welcome to the coffee. If you can think of a better uh, intro, maybe we just do what it is on uh, the crudes, right? Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. No? No, I've never seen it. You've never seen the crudes? No, no, none none of it. Anyways, we are going to drink some coffees, talk about the way that we brewed them. Why we brewed it that way. Why we brewed it that way. And then kind of tell you where you can get it if you want to try it. Yeah. And we'll talk about the fails because we had one this morning. Or I did. Yeah. But I still blame you. you it is totally my fault. Totally my fault. It's always right, your where fault. Where are we going to start? Here. Well, where, what do we got today and where did it come from? All right. So we've got some Tandala coffee. This came from Paul. And to be real honest with you, it kind of showed up unannounced. Not a problem, Paul. Not a problem, coffee roasters. Not a problem, micro roasters. You can always send us coffee. But I was surprised. I was shocked. I had the missus open the box because I thought maybe it might be something dangerous to protect myself and the coffee legacy. No, I'm just teasing. But some coffee showed up and I was like, And the note was very kind, very gracious, very supportive of us and our podcast and our show and saying, if you could give it a, 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 you know, once over, give it a once over. (laughs) And uh, if I could get you a review, you know, just your feedback, I would, I know you guys are straight shooters. I appreciate you. And let me know, let me know how you like it. So I did, I gave feedback on the Burundi and the Colombia and the bags and the boxing and all the different things. Just, just trying to be transparent. Cause if you send it to me, I'm going to be honest with you. I think that's fair. If you send it to me and say, please give me feedback. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a shoot straight with you. And sometimes it's a little hard because I, I, and I don't want to try and say that my way is the only way or Mike's way is the only way, but I'm just giving you my opinion, my feedback. So you know that if your box game is not real strong, I'm not going to call you out on it or anything. I'm just going to communicate. This is what I think you could, where you could improve what I would like to see better as a, from a consumer standpoint. That's all. So that's it. But we're going to taste the coffees. We're going to talk about them and we're going to, we're going to rock it. You can find these at tandalacoffee.com. We'll put links in the show notes, links, Square, subscribe, whatever. Something. Square. What? Square. That's share. Square. Share. All right. And, and this, subscribe. the first one that we're drinking here is the Colombian. Colombia. And these are these are the fellow. These are the fellow mugs. These are great mugs. They're very cool. You have to wash them by hand. Uh, and they're difficult to live with, but I love them. I love the way that they how look. How do you like this? That's that's how exactly how you drink. Like, uh, both hands. Both hands. Take a little sip there. Give it a little swirl. Give it a little mm. sniffy sniff. That's pretty good. 
Now, this would uh, be from the Julia region, or which is probably better pronounced. Huila. 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 Yeah, you stole my thunder. Colom. Oh. I was making a joke. Sorry. Is this how this whole thing is going to go? Yeah, most likely, <laughs> yes. Yes. Because Sorry. when I first started buying green, um, they were so gracious. I think it was Cafe Imports. I kept calling it Julia. I was like, what's the Julia everyone talks about? Is that Julia? I'm like, oh, well, you know, the locals say uh, Huila. Huila. And I said, oh, that makes sense. You are an idiot, Mike. Wheela. Thank you for calling us, but the locals say Huila. Huila. No, but they never made you they feel like They probably don't even a, say that. They didn't make you feel like an idiot, and that was cool. So. No. We no. do that. You, you just feel like an idiot enough. After. I was about to say, we do that no. a, a perfect job of that by ourselves. So Well, and I think it's fun to just continue to say uh, Julia. 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 You got the Julia? Yeah. I'm on the bay more with the Julia. <laughs> Can I get that quesadilla <laughs> back there? Yeah. yeah and uh, Scott Rao. Scott Rao coming on. Uh, um, so this is the Columbia. It is flavorful. I. It, it says here the flavor notes on it. They're not really flavor notes, but it says mild, sweet, and flavorful with light acidity. I did get it, – it was a good coffee. It was a little – I got some medium body and some acidity all at the same time. It was – Oh, at the same time. At the same time. Like at the same sip and the same, you know. Like not not up yeah. front, not in the middle, and not, not at the end? No. Yeah. But I sniffered it. I sniffed the coffee, and it was roasted a little darker. This was a darker roasted coffee. Some of the beans had a little oil escaping on them, which is typically a little darker than we go. We go. However, based on that, I chose to brew this coffee with a flat bottom brewer. And I can't remember the name of it now. What do you mean you can't remember? What's the name of the coffee brewer that we've been playing around with? Oh, did you use the the new one that was sent to us? The new one. The new one that was sent to us. Yeah. That is the... Wow. No. Wow. It's a little different. Wow. Cali, what was it? The This is so terrible. We are absolutely t- horrible at this. Um, well, it was Iterate, right? Was the uh, Jonathan's company. I remember Jonathan yeah. Iterate. Jonathan, I remember. Cali Calabrera. Calabrera. Got it. Yes, links it's in a little the show different, notes. But yeah, it, well, it makes sense. Links in the show notes. Yeah. Links in the show notes. Yeah, so you chose flat bottom why? I chose flat bottom because it was roasted a little darker, so I was expecting a little more body, a little more base notes, maybe not quite as much fruitiness, zinginess, tartness, acidity, but I was so pleasantly surprised with a little bit of acidity on the side of the mouth, like, mm, 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 there you mm, are. That's good. Mm, that's good. I was surprised with that from the, from the Columbia, but I got a good body. So this was um, a coffee that stands up well to cream and sugar as well if that's so. what you yep. prefer in fact i would push you in that direction if no don't you, push anybody if you like okay i'm sorry forgive the push Encourage, no longer push. pushing but if you like cream and sugar i would say that uh, tandala coffee in the Colombia is is good it's yeah. good yeah it's perfect i think it's very sweet it's got a very good sweet aftertaste it's got a nice body like you uh there's not it, it's not assaulting with acidity it's not very strong you're not going to get any stone fruit or anything like that from it uh, at least I am not, but I think it's a great solid coffee. I think it's a, it's it's everybody's friend. It's yeah. a good good coffee to have yeah. at the party. Yeah. yeah, hangs out with everyone. Uh, I used a fifteen to one ratio. I used a Bodum grinder. Bodum is how we ground all this stuff. And the what is it? Calibara, Capybara, what? Calispella, Calispell, Montana. No, Capi, Cari, Cala, Ca- Cali, Cali, the Cali br- dripper, Cali Calibrera, the Calibrera dripper. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Um, I would like to move on to the next Tandala coffee, but it's over there in that. Oh, it's in this? It's in that. It's in this. So we should we go to the next coffee and then back to that or just go straight to this? Do you have a free mug to pour this? I have a free mug. And we'll go for okay. it. Okay. So this next one is also from Tandala Coffee, and this is their Burundi. And I got to say, between the two, this one was my favorite. I've been drinking this every morning for the last, I don't know, a couple of days since we've since we've had it. Since but like 1986. I really enjoy this one. And this Burundi, I brewed with the blue bottle dripper. Flat Ooh. bottom, single hole, tight ridges. That's where that's that's, Another. that's where it's at. Let's talk about the 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 flavor notes in here. So oh there that one. 
sorry, the Burundi, it says smooth, heavy feel with hints of cocoa. And I definitely got the cocoa. And it was that cocoa with that smoothness, uh, roasted a little bit lighter. None of the beans had oils on them, but that led me to go with that particular brew method. Flat bottom, single hole, yeah. blue bottle dripper, thought it was excellent. More more mids. Yeah. Right? More mids. Yeah. Is that what you call them? Yes. You've got your mids. Mids. Yeah. Not a lot, not a whole lot of snare cracking. Yeah. Um, not a lot of a treble. You can go ahead and turn that down and you can get a nice little little bass thump. Boom. 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 Just like that. Just like that. That's what the Burundi does for you. I was surprised because Burundi is in East Africa. I was expecting a more fruity, florally coffee, but instead it almost tasted more, especially kind of the aftertaste, had a little bit more earthy tones mm. to it. Almost mm. like, like almost like something you would expect from like an Indonesian coffee that's been through, you know, a lot of monsoons or had like heavy Sumatra. rain seasons. You know what I mean? But it was not. And, and, and so I, I, I was you. pleasantly surprised. I loved it. In fact, the first thought that came to my mind was, Mikey needs to try this, and we need to get a Burundi for the saguaro category. That's how yeah. good it was. It, ins it was inspirationally good. It inspired me. But enough about me. How do you like it? I think it's really good. I would agree. I think, you know, for me, my experience with the, uh, the Burundi. Burundi. Oh, is it Burundi? Burundi. I thought it was Burundi. I have no idea. Burundi. 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 Oh, brownie. Oh, it's oh the brownie. Burundi. Ah, Burundi. Burundi. Burundis. Kind of like when you're not when they're when they're Ooh. they're so worn <laughs> they've got holes through them. The Burundis. Yeah, burned right through those. Undies. They burned right through those undies. <laughs> uh, we've uh, I've it has we've, great. Um, I've um, perfect. <laughs> great. great. Is so that, lost. Are you trying to pass the baton, or do you want me to let you struggle? Uh, stop talking about your undies and let me talk, and uh, well, that's we'll not get this. Gonna happen. I think uh, yes, oh. absolutely. It has the characteristics of of African coffees, but it has more base. Um, I don't know. It doesn't say at what height it was grown at. Oh, the Sometimes elevation? the elevation can can be a uh, indicator of mm, that. Mm -hmm. You know, the higher up, the usually you know you get a little more sweetness or fruity or floral. Uh, but it's very sweet. It's very good. Um, and I think you're right. It, it would be a, a good coffee. To, we would definitely sell this. So yeah. we recommend it. I think yeah. it would go well also with cream and sugar. It does, yes. It's not in what we would call the king category, the standalone pure, yeah. where you would not want to, you know, add cream and sugar because right. that might taint what well, it's got going on. Well, it just on. competes with some of the sweetness. The the milk and the, exactly. the sugar competes with the sweetness. But they get in there and they get in a little cage match. This one, right. And you don't want no cage matches taking place inside your mouth. You don't want that. Believe me, I've had that. You don't want that. Nope. Now, the wife and the missus also really enjoy the Burundi, the Burundi, or the Burundi. The Burundis. Yeah. They really enjoyed it. They drink theirs with, they take it with cream and sugar, and not it's a very good. single complaint. Tandala coffee. Very sweet. If I had to pick kind of between the two, I would go with the Burundi. Yep. In I fact... Agree. The Burundi, in, in fact, my mind, listen is so good, so good that I would give it a four out of five cacti. Mm. Four out of five cacti and the Columbia probably a three just because of my preference for not quite so dark. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, it, but then why four out of five for the Burundi? I don't know. Because you don't want to give away a perfect score because you're hoarding the perfect score? Is that why? Is that what this is about? If that's what this is about, then fine. I go five out of five. Quit lecturing me. Quit picking on me. But whatever. I thought Tandala Coffee knocked it out of the park with the Burundi. I would agree. I think it was wonderful. I think it was a little bit sweeter. And yeah. to me, a mark of a good coffee is when you're done drinking it and it just lingers yeah. and you taste it and you want more. Sorry, I'm moving around a little too much. Yes, you want more. Yeah, I and know. That's, you've had a lot. And, so that's, and you can kind of tell. Look I at that would, bag. Look at that bag. You yeah. can tell the Burundi there. But it, I think the um, Julia Wila would oh, be oh, wonderful yeah, as well. Yeah. So, it's a good coffee. I'm not saying it's a bad coffee. It's a good coffee. You won't go wrong with either. You won't go wrong. Want something a little sweeter, not as dark. Yes. Go with the uh, Burundi. 
Yes. And um, But if you want a little yeah. bit darker, you like that, maybe you want to, you know, we didn't try it on espresso. I would say the Columbia might be better suited yeah. in that category, but yeah. both would probably fare well. In fact, I, yeah, I'll i keep you up to date. Up, up to date. No, up you won't. To what are you talking about? Well, the Columbia, I will try that on espresso. Oh, you'll keep them up I'll try that on espresso and just check out like a daily ristretto here in the near future. Yeah, if you're interested. So for the Tandala. If you must know. Colombia Tandala coffee update. Before you pull the Huila. trigger. Because Huila. Huila. Well, there shouldn't be anything from stopping you from pulling the Burundi trigger right now. Tandalacoffee.com. Bam. Do it. All right. Wonderful. Moving right along. We also um, got a little. Began corresponding via email. Corresponding. Corresponding via email. Who are you? Um, about Aperture Coffee. And I got to tell you. I, we always, you know, we're always transparent, honest, open. I'm a little nervous about this one. I'm a little nervous about the Aperture Coffee Roasters. And, and the reason why I'm a little bit nervous is because there's no roast date on it. And it was made kind of for some, a separate venue. It's it a wedding so. roast. It was made for a wedding. Yeah. As a gift for guests. So we received it as well as a gift. All, all of these were gifted to us. I don't think that um, works. And it's light. It's almost Nordic light. It was very light. However, can can I can I pause? Can this? you keep talking? Can I pause this real quick? For real, for real. I'm gonna pause real quick because I need to get something, and then I will be right back in like two seconds. Okay, thanks. I'm back. So sorry, we're we're a hot mess. But no, one I'm of the not. things that okay, I am a hot mess. One of the things that I did is I went out and I bought sparkling water. For us to... Oh, good. You didn't steal it. Rinse our... <sighs> Thanks for clarifying. See, this is what I have to deal with. If you feel for me, leave a comment in the show notes. Well, here... No, wait. So, just uh, quick plug, because this is funny. Go ahead. Pour the water. Yeah. I'm we want to cleanse the palate, right? We want to cleanse the it's palate. I went out and I bought this for us, and that's how you're going to treat me. Well, because Do you I've got some flack. All right. Poorly? So Do you there's... get treated poorly by people that you serve as well? Leave me a comment in the show notes. Here's the thing, right? When I said you want to use uh, cold water, water that's not heated... Um, and you made fun of me on the last big show for that. Did I make fun of we you on the big show? We got a little flack in the, uh, you know, some people clarifying for me that uh, <laughs> hot water equals cold water not heated. <laughs> but it's true. Hot water equals cold water not heated. So what you see here, <laughs> so, here is these these glasses that we're going to rinse out of. These are like, I love these glasses. These are from Not Neutral. I'll put a link in the show notes as well. These are from Not Neutral. They are Cortado glasses, and they are smoke-colored, and I love looking at them. Okay, well, it's a brewing coffee show, not a glass show, so let's get rolling. Oh, oh, that's quite – is that flavored? No. That is just sparkling seltzer, sparkling water, mm. seltzer water. Mm. Excuse the uh, the slurpees. So, Wait a minute, Mike. Why are you drinking sparkling seltzer water besides the fact that I just went and got it for you? Why am I drinking it? Yeah. Why are you drinking that? I don't know, because you went and got it, and it would be really rude to say no. I'm drinking it because it cleanses the palate and prepares it for the next coffee. So oh. this Burundi that we were drinking and loving, we don't want that to impact what we're drinking here with the aperture, the yeah. wedding roast, the special wedding roast. That's why I'm drinking it. It's a good idea. It's like taking a shower for your mouth. Yeah. And I <laughs> only need showers when I drink different coffees. Well, I do that between meals. <laughs> Did you hang that up today? Yeah, I tried. <laughs> the, um, the snapbacks don't fit up there. The reason why you can't buy these, by the way. Is because Jake is too obsessed. Is because we don't have any boxes to we send got them boxes. in. USPS got boxes. We don't There's have only, a this specialty. Is it. That's it. Those are the only ones we have left, though. One well, snapback and two If you really want a hat mediums. and you're like, hey, I don't care about the box, let Jake know. I'm not sending it without a, a sweet box. I'm not. I am not. Good. Then let him sit there. Let him sit there. Let him sit there. All right. Let's move. Yeah. What do we got? Aperture. This guy right here. Aperture coffee. It is very light. You can, I mean, you can tell. You can look at it. Maybe. Um, I don't know if this works. It doesn't focus. We ground it on... Well, then get it out of there. We ground it on the bottom. Well, you can see like a blurry and then <laughs> depiction of the coffee. Mikey wanted to brew it. Yeah, there's a blurry <laughs> depiction of coffee. Mikey, wow, we are really killing this show. I don't think this is going to make it to nope, it's going number up two. Uncut, just it, like the... Is uh, it going to go to compresso. volume two, though? 
to episode, we two? episode two. Yeah. Episode two. Okay. So Mike, how did you roast? How did you, how did you roast this one? <laughs> how did you brew this one? Since this is a brew and tasting Well, Jake, show. I hate to tell you, I don't roast everything you drink. So this one was actually, I like the name. Aperture? I, yeah. Yeah, because you're a coffee snob. I mean, a camera yeah. snob. Yeah, good one. Drop that pun. Thank you. Um. Wait, what was your question? How, How did you brew it? Oh, we you used brewed it. Okay, not yeah. we. You did it. If it's ruined, it's your fault. It is my fault. But I, you know what? You did I ruin the first version. Brewed it twice. Yeah, because twice the brewed. first time Jake gave me this weird metal apparatus because we were trying to be efficient and brew two things at once. Always my fault. And you know we preheated it. It was really it's a melt pitcher, wasn't it? Frother, <laughs> but it had yeah. a spout and it was big enough to brew into, so it worked. And yeah. we could then pour it into two glasses because we ain't sharing glasses. Not, we don't do that anymore. Um, but I failed to dump the pre not on the show. Uh, heat water the that I used to rinse the filter and heat the mug and and I did not want to just drink it anyway because I didn't think that was fair. So we dumped it and right. we started we over. We wanted to give Aperture a fair shot. So V sixty V sixty fifteen to one twenty grams three hundred grams out and um, it was very light. It smelled excellent uh, ground. It really did. It had a nice. <laughs> Um, nice aroma to it. It reminded me of the Nordic coffee that we received as a gift as well. What was the name of that? Do you mm. remember? Drop. Drop coffee. It reminded me of drop. I thought maybe the Bodum wouldn't stand up to the light <laughs> roast because we thought the Bodum met its match. We for thought the, day. the Bodum was going to tap out, but it it handled it. No, it did. Just it fine. handled it. it didn't just even fine. struggle. Yeah. Nope. Not at all. all right, so we going in? Yep. Let's go in the, with this one. Um, this is the first time does, I'm tasting this. It says it's single origin Congo. Oh, a Congo. Yeah. Yeah. What and, are the notes you're getting? And the tasting notes on the bag are cranberry, apricot, and apricot. brown huga. Oh, so we should get something very similar to our current Kenyan. Or no, our previous King Cup, the Baraka Buna. We should get some stone fruit I think and some brown sugar. There could be okay. a. Yeah, a correlation. All right, let's try. What, what about these glasses, Mike? Where where did you get these from? I have no idea. These were a gift from Mikey for me. These mm. are decent espresso glasses, double walled glass. People want to know. They want to know what are you drinking out of? This is the not neutral smoke cortado. This is the fellow. I can't remember what it is, but you can tell by the shape. Oh, the mug, whatever it's called. So anyhow, what do you think? You didn't drink yet. People don't want to listen to both of us drink at the same time. So one, then the other. I think it's fine. Now you talk. I don't think people want to hey, go on about your cortado glass for 10 minutes either. But <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it would have been so funny if I wouldn't have held it in and just, just spit all over you. Because I was this close to it. Definitely instead, only been a one-off Now show. I've got aperture in my, <laughs> nose. In my nose. In, in your my, nasal canal. Whatever these are right, right here. Sinuses. Oh, yeah. It's, it's not a... <laughs> Well, good. That too. I was just helping you aerate, buddy. This is really, really good. It is very good. I, I'm liking it. It is light. It's very light, like you said. It's Did we say it was light? It's lighter it than light? I would prefer and that, uh, than I would ask you to roast, but I'm not getting... I'm not getting like a vegetative. I'm not getting any I'm grass. I'm not getting vegetable. Not any getting sour, grass. Any hay. I'm getting, I'm getting some tartness. Getting a little bit of acidity there, but also a surprising sweetness. Yeah, it's definitely more tea-like. Uh, the stone fruit isn't strong for mm -hmm. me. Um, I, I almost want to say I'm getting more of a grape, or maybe it's the cranberry. Just. I'm not used to eating straight cranberries. That's probably what I'm getting there. But I would I would say that I'm more on the on the grapeish side there. Yeah. And and it does have a nice brown sugar sweetness. It, I think it, more in the aftertaste, I think. Yeah. As it kind of sits on the palate. For there. me, a good mark of a light coffee, sometimes they're dry. You know, and I think maybe that's when they're underdeveloped. It it leaves my mouth dry. And I don't like that. I want it sweet and um you know, and just kind of coated with all that sugary goodness. I like what it says here. It's a small batch roasted in the um, Shenandoah, Shenandoah, Shenandoah Mountains Valley, Valley, Shenandoah. It just sounds is that cool. Pennsylvania. It just sounds cool, right? Shenandoah is that Pennsylvania? Shenandoah. 
This yeah. is coming to you direct from the Shenandoah Valley. From the Shenandoah Valley. I like it's it. like the valley has a aura to it that is imparted in this coffee. And when it arrives, not only is it uh, single origin Virginia. from Congo. Shenandoah is Virginia. But it comes from I Shenandoah. way off. Yeah, see, you shouldn't even say that. To me, that, that makes it not as cool. Oh, it's Just, not. It's where not is from, it from? I don't know. The Shenandoah. Shenandoah. Valley. You don't know where Shenandoah is? No, I have no idea. But just know. Is it close to Burundi? <laughs> <laughs> it's it, no Congo, really, in this case. Oh, perfect. Anyhow, so I like you, it. I'm happy. I like it. I think it's not at all. <laughs> because that is perfect. That's <laughs> par for the course for this show. Um, <laughs> it's good if you like some of the the light roasts. Kind of the uber light. I would call it uber light. Uber. Uber light. If you like that that Nordic style. This is good. It is good. It has sweetness. I think, to me, that's often what's lacking, as yeah. I mentioned. And this is very sweet. I can taste the sweetness on the lips, the tongue, and the gums. Perfect. And on that. <laughs> and on that bombshell. Check them out. Aperture. Very good. You won't go wrong with this Congo, if it's available. This was a special wedding roast. Not our wedding. Yeah. I don't know whose wedding. That's the only one that we can speak to. We hope you had a good wedding. Yeah. And we hope you have a long, happy marriage. And congratulations. And congratulations. Yeah. On finding your soulmate. Yeah. We know at least the coffee was good at the wedding. Yeah. And that maybe the those food. were some smoking hot gifts that people got if they walked off with. Yeah. If this was given to all your guests, well done. Yeah. Well done. And lastly, real quick, lastly. that is a great sample bag. That yeah. is cute. I like it. I like that yeah. little sample bag. Just, just adorbs. Yes, Mikey, it is truly adorable. You can find the show notes for this episode at orangecactuscoffee.com forward slash brew review one. It's one word, brew review one. If you like it, hit me up, jacob at orangecactuscoffee.com. If you don't like it, hit Mike up at mike at orangecactuscoffee.com or leave something in the comments for us, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, get a hold of us. It's been an honor and a pleasure to be in your ear. We will catch you next time for a brew and review.